What is up everyone? Uh, this is going to be my 2020 PS4 collection, doing it selfie stick style again. Um, this has been highly requested since the last one, like we're now in July, so I took long enough, right? Um, so these are all in alphabetical order. I have 270 physical games. I will also take you to the digital library after this and show you all those. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We have Too Dark. Uh, this is a very cool game. Um, it's like 8-bit or 16-bit style, like survival horror. I didn't beat it. I was streaming it for a while last year, the year before. But a uh, very cool game. I need to go back to it. We have 2064 Read-Only Memories. Um, this is some kind of... Uh, uh, it's a point-and-click adventure is what this is. Uh, I really like point-and-click adventures. You know, they're relaxing. Puzzles and stuff like that. Not all high-flying, but yeah. We have 8-Bit Adventure Anthology. Um, this has three games in it. Shadowgate, Uninvited, and Deja Vu. Uh, which they are from 1987 through 1991. Just old school games put into a little collection. Then we have Absolute Drift. I don't know a lot about this game. I kind of forgot. But I think it's like a, like a lower-end graphic kind of... Not racing. Maybe like stunts and stuff. Alien Isolation. Another game I need to finish. Sorry if my dogs make a lot of noise in the background. Make them stop. Hey, stop it. Hey, go, go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. That didn't work at all. I think they're more riled up. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Alien Isolation, Survival Horror. I was uh, streaming this live on Twitch last year, the year before. And, um, yeah, sorry the dog. Alien Isolation. <laughs> um... This is a survival horror. I was streaming it. You have to, it's a very uh, stealthy game, and uh, it was kind of annoying me at times just because of the cheap deaths and stuff. But but it was fun. I need to go back and finish that. I just ran up and down the stairs, so now I'm out of breath. Um, Alone with you. I don't know much about this. A sci-fi game for people who love adventure, exploring, and maybe even a little romance. Ooh. As Divine Hearts. This is a RPG. Limited Run, As Divine Hearts 2. The third one was released on Limited Run, and I missed it. Oh, well, it's probably not that expensive on eBay. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, one of my uh, launch games, I believe. Uh, this is a great game. Very good game. A lot of people's favorite Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is the gold edition with the season pass and everything. Have not played it. That's my fiancé's game. Assassin's Creed Origins, haven't played that either, fiancé's game, but I will play them. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered, I have beaten this, I have a whole let's play of this. Um, it's okay, it, it kind of continues the story of uh, Assassin's Creed 3, kind of plays in there, you know, like the American history and whatnot, if I remember right. Uh, Unity, plagued with bugs when it first came out, but such a good game now, play it. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, have not played this one yet. This is the gold edition with the season pass again. Um, Axiom Verge. This is a uh, Metroidvania, I believe. This is like a like a big multiverse edition. Um, when that game came out for a limited run on Wii U, it was like supposed to be the last Wii U game made, so people were jumping all over it. Uh, but there have since been a couple more Wii U game made Wii U games made apparently. The Bard's Tale, uh, I want to say it's like Fable before Fable. Um, I haven't played it yet, but this is the remastered version, and a lot of people love this game. Lots of humor, uh, you know. Bastion, uh, very classic game. It's sealed still because I have it digitally. Batman Return to Arkham, amazing games. Batman Arkham Knight. People gripe about this game, but it's so good. The Batmobile is really cool. Batman The Enemy Within is the Telltale sequel or prequel of the other Batman Telltale game. I can't remember. Speaking of the other Batman game, here it is. Batman The Telltale series. My watch is vibrating because I put my phone in uh, airplane mode for this video. So I'm going to take that off. No phones, no dogs, no notifications. Got a long video to do. Um, 
Bioshock the Collection. I currently have the uh, Let's Play going of the first one, if you want to go check that out. Um, this has Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. Do not let anyone tell you Bioshock 2 is not good. They are full of crap. Great game. You play as a big daddy. It has one of the greatest DLCs of all time, which I have not played at Minerva's Den, but people love it. I played Bioshock 2, just not the DLC. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Um, I platinum this on PS3 and PS4. Shows you it's a good game. Uh, probably one of the best co-op story games there is. It's a loot and shoot. Borderlands The Handsome Collection comes with Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. Have not played... Wait, I played a little bit of Borderlands 2. My friend and I were maybe halfway, if that... I've not played the pre-sequel, though. Um, Broken Age. I think this is a point-and-click type of game. Um, I'm obsessed with Double Fine Productions and Tim Schafer. They're, like, one of my favorite game developers. Uh, and this is one of them, so and I have not played that one, though. The Bunker... Uh, this is a FMV game, full metal video, full metal video, full motion video. That's what I meant to say. Uh, Castlevania Curse of the Moon. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Uh, it's supposed to be some kind of semi-survival horror. I got it because I love those kind of games and it was a GameStop exclusive, so I wanted to jump on it before I missed it. But I think it's everywhere now. I'm not really sure. Breach and Clear, I've not played it. Got this back when I was playing, uh, getting every single limited run game that came out, but that quickly stopped. Um, Caldrius Blaze. Uh, epic story narrated with more than 15 characters. Hmm. New shooter era. Call of Cthulhu, it's a horror game. Call of Duty, Modern War, Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Black Ops 4? 3. 3. That's Black Ops 3. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Don't need to say much about these. Call of Duty Ghosts. Great story mode. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Also great story mode. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I don't think I've played this story mode yet. Call of Duty... Modern Warfare Remastered, I have Platinum this game, and it's a great story mode. Play that. Celeste, a uh, puzzle game. Highly touted. People love it. Indie puzzler. Uh, Chariot. This game's kind of weird because uh, you're basically riding your dad's coffin. Like, your dead king dad is inside of that coffin. And they look pretty happy for that. That's all I know, though. Okay, we're going to switch hands this way. Okay. We have Children of Zodiacs RPG. So when it comes to limited run, I usually grab the RPGs, the point-and-click adventures, and stuff like that. I stay away from the, the random stuff that I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, Cronus Arc, another RPG from limited, limited run. Claire Extended Cut. Uh, I beat this. I did a whole stream of it. It's on my channel. Very cool. This is like a like a side scrolling uh 16-bit 2D res uh Silent Hill game basically. Like it plays just like Silent Hill, but it's like side scrolling. Very cool game. Control. Everyone loves this game. I have not played it yet. My fiance thought it was okay. I don't think she ever finished it. She's weird about games though. She's real picky. Uh Croc I think it's an RPG. Stream high speed action. Uh, I actually don't know what kind of game that is. My cat's making noises now. Got everyone out but my cats. Uh, Corpse Killer. My pride and joy here. One of my favorite games of all time. We have Costume Quest 2. I wish we could get a physical PS3 Costume Quest. Uh, Crawl. The, when this game... No, that's not this game. Never mind. I don't know. I think it's a dungeon crawler. Dark Devotion. Darksiders, another one of my favorite games. I uh, think Zelda and God of War mixed. I platinum that game. Great game. Uh, Darksiders 2 War Master Edition. Or Death Thin of it Edition. The first one's War Mastered. Okay, let's go this way. Down here, down here. Darksiders 3. Look at there. I have not played that one yet. 
days gone. Dead Island Definitive Collection. Uh, a buggy mess, but great game nonetheless. Very fun with friends. Deadpool. This game shot up in price when that Deadpool movie came out, the first one, but great game. Dead Rising. I have started this game like 27 times, got to the mall, and stopped. I really don't know why. Maybe I'll play through this as Halloween. Maybe. Especially since the freaking third one's supposed to be like a Christmas game, and I need some Christmas games in my life. Dear Esther, uh, this is a walking simulator. That's a, that's supposedly now a um, a derogatory term towards these this kind of game, but I love walking sims. I have a top five walking sim video. Go check it out. Uh, but yeah, Dear Esther. Destiny. Bought this game day one. Haven't even finished the campaign yet. Barely. I think I'm pretty close to finishing it. Um, Destiny of the Taken King. Uh, bought the white PS4 from my from my uh, brother-in-law. And it came with that. So, Detroit Become Human. Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I haven't played this one, but the one on PS3 is really good. Devil May Cry HD Collection. I have a full Let's Play of the first Devil May Cry on my channel. Quick fact, it was supposed to be Resident Evil 4. They turned it into Devil May Cry. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Bought this game day one thinking I was going to jump right into it and never did, so I'm not doing that ever again. But yeah, this is a RPG with Digimon. Uh, Dishonored 2. This is the Steelbook. We have the mask in my fiance's office. My cat is, like, all over everything. Uh, Doom. I have a full Let's Play or stream of this. I can't remember which one I did. We have Double Switch 26th Anniversary Edition. I think this was a really popular game on Sega CD or Saturn back in the day. Uh, I think it's full motion video again, FMV. A lot of games here, guys. Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, one game of the year, the year it came out. I beat Origins and Dragon Age 2. Fantastic games. I really need to play this one. I just haven't done it yet. Dragon's Crown Pro Steelbook Edition. Or Battle Hardened Edition, sorry. Uh, my fiance and I played this two-player. We haven't beaten it yet, but we had a lot of fun with it. It's a side-scroller beat-em-up. Dragon Fantasy. Looks kind of like they're trying to rip off Dragon Quest, but that's okay. Uh, it's a little 8-bit little style, like little RPG. Dragon's Lair Trilogy, uh, point-and-click adventures from like the 80s, uh, or 90s maybe, I can't remember. Uh, people love these games though, Limited Run put them out in a collection, just for me. Dying Light, the following, this is basically the Game of the Year edition for Dying Light, um, it's the Enhanced Edition. My friend and I are playing through this, it's what, it's what uh, Dead Island wanted to be, basically, a uh, less buggy version. Dragon Sinker, Descendants of Legend. Another little 8-bit RPG. I don't know why. I like RPGs, you know? We got Dreams. Uh, this game's going strong. You can make your own game in this game. Um, you can make your own, like, assets for a game. Like, if you wanted to make a lamp and people used your lamp, lamp in their game, you would get experience points for it. If you made music, if you made weapons, if you made characters, whatever... And they get used in other people's games, and you get points. It's pretty cool. Everspace Galactic Edition. I don't really know what this is. Looks like a shooter, maybe. I told you, if Lemon Run puts out a game and I think it looks cool, I jump on it. Everybody's Golf. It's basically Hot Shots. It is Hot Shots. This is just what it was called in Japan. Very fun game, though. The Evil Within. I have a full playthrough of this on my channel. Um, it's like a Resident Evil 4-esque survival horror game. We have Exile's End. I don't really know what this is. Uh, platformer genre. Cinematic platformer is what it says. Factorum 90. Don't know. <laughs> I think it's a puzzle game. Fallout 4, 
fantastic game. Three and four, great. New Vegas, you know, you know Fallout. If you don't know Fallout, you've been living under a rock. Fallout 76 gets hated on a lot, but uh, they've added a lot of improvements to it. I haven't really played it myself, but my fiance, she's obsessed with Fallout, or she was, and she was playing this, and she liked it. Uh, Fallen Legion. This also came with a a game that went along with it for the Vita. Um, kind of like a Pokemon Red and Blue almost, I'm assuming. Or maybe two different stories, I'm not sure. But it's an RPG. Far Cry 4. Far Cry Primal. The Flame and the Flood. If I keep talking about all these, it's going to take it forever. Fernsgate RPG. Final Fantasy VII Remake Deluxe Edition, just a puzzle platformer. Just kidding, it's an RPG. Uh, Final Fantasy XV Deluxe Edition RPG. One of my favorite games of all time here. Uh, Firewatch. Great, great, great walking sim. I grew up in the woods, playing in the woods and stuff, so it's very nostalgic for me. And it's kind of creepy. Uh, the first tree, I don't know a lot about this, but I do remember it looked cool. Forma 8. Furwind Limited Edition. Looks kind of cute. Futuridium, sealed because I have it uh, digital. Game of Thrones, a Telltale series. Yeah, game series. Uh, it doesn't follow the books or anything, like, directly. It's kind of like a side story. Grand Theft Auto V. Who hasn't played this? Ghost, uh, Ghost Adventures is what I almost said. Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. Fantastic game. This is basically the sequel to number two. The story continues right where that one left off. And I have a full Let's Play of this if you want to see that. Did that last Halloweeny. Giga Wrecker Alt. This is a Metroidvania. That's another series I like a lot. Metroidvania games. I don't know why. Really fun. The Girl and the Robot Deluxe Edition. Um, I don't know a lot about this game, but it was really cheap on Amazon, and it's kind of like an obscure title, so I wanted to go ahead and jump on it. God of War. Who doesn't know God of War? God of War 3 Remastered. Here comes another double fine game that I need to play. Grim Fandango Remastered. I have that digitally as well. Gris. Uh, this almost won Best Art. It's supposed to be one of the prettiest games there are, like with all the watercolor colors and whatnot. Uh, Heavy Rain Beyond Two Souls Collection. Got this PAL version because these weren't physical on PS4 before. I think there's also one of Detroit Becoming Human now, but I will already have that game separately. Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Play this with headphones when you play it. Home. A unique horror adventure. Looks really cool. Horizon Zero Dawn. I have a whole playthrough of this on my channel. I got the Platinum on stream on Twitch. The House in Fata Morgana. Dreams of the Revenants Edition. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. You awaken in a decrepit old mansion. That's all I'm going to say. Hollow Knight. Got a lot of praise, so when the physical edition limited was announced, I jumped on it. I like to get games that I might play, you know. I mean, I will play them, but the games I think I'm going to play, I'm going to get. Hyper Light Drifter. Uh, this is another another game like Hollow Knight, where it had a limited physical release, and people love it, so I want to try it. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Uh, this is I Am Setsuna. The only physical copy you can get is Japan, and but the Switch version has English subtitles. This one doesn't, so that sucks. That was a overlook on my part. Did not know that. Inside Limbo Collection. Uh, I've only played Limbo. It was pretty good. Pretty good. I almost said cool and good in one word. Pretty good. Injustice Gods Among Us. I think I have a full Let's Play of this or stream on my channel. 
The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Another FMV game. If you don't know what that means, so you see real people. Infamous Second Son. Might have been my first Platinum on the PS4. I'm not really sure. Fantastic game, though. I need to go back and uh, Platinum First Light, the DLC. Iconoclasts. Uh, Metroidvania. Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. Fantastic game. One of the best platformers ever made, in my humble opinion. Uh, Jack 2. I need to switch this cover, because all these words on the cover don't look very good for this. Jack 2 is really hard. I platinumed it on PS3, but wow, it was hard. Jack 3. These are all limited run releases, so if you want these physical, you gotta go to eBay now. It sucks. Uh, Jack X Combat Racing. Joe on Valhalla Edition. I think this was kind of Zelda-y, kind of. Judgment, a uh, spinoff of the Yakuza series. Caro Blaster, uh, some kind of puzzle game. Colot, a uh, walking simulator that's a horror game. It's based on a true story, actually, and the only way to get it is to import it, but I think Amazon has them, so... Check that out if you want it. Uh, my Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix Deluxe Edition. Love me some Kingdom Hearts. I always get these Deluxe Editions. I have all of them on PS3. I got them all on PS4 as well. Uh, HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. And then the Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition. We have Knack, very underrated launch title on the PS4. People hate on this game so much, but it's so good. And the graphics, from what I remember, look like a Pixar movie. Then we have Knack 2. Ugh, I turn this way now. My arm gets tired. We got to turn, guys. Kill the bad guy. Knights and Bikes, another double fine game. I really need to play through all these Double Fine games. Yeah. So far, I've only played through Psychonauts, I Platinum that, and I 100%ed uh, Costume Quest 1 and 2. Chromea. This is one of those games that uh, it was super cheap as a budget title when it came out, and everyone was talking about it. It's kind of like a shooter. Um, I don't know, Bullet Hell shooter. Yeah, Bullet Hell Blasting, Interest Next Dimension. So I started that, but I never finished it. But it was fun. The Last Guardian, this is the most recent game uh, by the people that made uh, Shadow of the Colossus and Eco. I forgot what that team's called. Are they just called the Eco Shadow of the Colossus team or something like that? Last of Us Remastered. So good. Late Shift, my case is destroyed and they wouldn't replace it. Another FMV game. I also like FMV games. I just think they're charming. They're funny. Layers of Fear, Masterpiece Edition. Uh, horror game. I love horror games. Lost Sea. I have this digitally. I don't really know what it is, though. Uh, do you have what it takes to escape the Lost Sea? I don't know. Do I? I have the game. Does that count? Lego Batman 3. Lego Harry Potter Collection. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I need to go back and platinum this. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. If you didn't know, the Kind of Funny crew did voices in that game. Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3. Legend of K Anniversary. This is a really random PS2 remake that they did. Life is Strange Limited Edition. Life is Strange Before the Storm Limited Edition. Lily. Little Big Planet 3. Lost Fear RPG. I have a whole playthrough of this on my channel. I need to go back and get that platinum. It's not a hard platinum at all. Madden 25. I have Madden 16, 17, 18, 19, so I'll skip those. 
uh, Mad Max, based on the movie and a very underrated game. I think it was free here recently on PSN. Man of Medan, the next game after Until Dawn. By Dark Pictures. Uh, Marinian Tavern Story, Patty and the Hungry God. Um, some kind of RPG-esque game. Mass Effect Andromeda, we all know this got a lot of hate. Um, I love the, the trilogy. I haven't played that one yet, though. Mecho Tales, I think it might be a platformer of some sort. Medieval, the remake from the PS1. Let's go down here now. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Stick with me. Mega Man Legacy Collection. Mega, Me Le Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. The Messenger. Uh, uh, Metroidvania game. The Metronomicon Slay the Dance Floor. I don't know. It sounds like a dance game, doesn't it? Metroid Redux, or Metro Redux, sorry. Fantastic games. I platinum the first one. Very good. Mighty Number no. 9 from the makers of Mega Man. They had the, uh, the, whatever it's called, where you have to back it, and then everybody hated them for it. Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure. They took this off digital, so I grabbed the, um, the uh, physical version, just in case the price went up, because I actually want to play all the Telltale games. Easy Platinums, you know. A uh, minute, where you have a literal minute to try to beat each area, and I have number 935. Um, Mono, Mamo Dora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. I have no idea what this is. 2D platformer. I just read it. Monster Boy, remake of the old Sega Genesis, I think. Murdered Soul Suspect, I think you have to solve your own murder or something. N++, it is a puzzle game, I believe. Need for Speed Rivals. Next Machina, this game also got a lot of praise, so I jumped on it. Night Trap, I have a full failed Let's Play of this. Another FMV game. Classic, classic game. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Uh, almost have the platinum on that. No Man's Sky Limited Edition. Got this day one and still have yet to play it because everyone crapped on it. But apparently it's really good now. Uh, let's keep going. The Nonary Games. Uh, this is a remaster of some ds games i think oops <laughs> my camera i'm sorry if my camera like is bad this game or this video ocean horn zelda clone uh, i played it on the pc i didn't beat it though but it was really cool gets a lot of inspiration from wind waker octodad deadliest catch old man's journey The Order 1886. I think I have a full playthrough of this with the Platinum. The Oregon Trail. Not gonna lie, I got this because I thought it was the Oregon Trail, but this is Oregon Trail. Uh, or, or. <laughs> the Outer Worlds. Won a bunch of awards this last year. Um, Oxen Free. One of the best indie games of the last few years. Persona 5 Royal. Currently playing this. Cool game. PlayStation VR Demo Disc. PlayStation VR Worlds. This one's really cool if you like Power Rangers. Uh, Battle for the Grid Physical Edition with an actual like Tyrannosaurus coin in there. Very cool. Psychonauts. I love this game. It's sealed because I have the PS4 version or digital. Ratchet and Clank, the reboot. Red Dead Redemption 2. 
Red Faction. Uh, I started to do a Let's Play of this game, then it kind of made me angry, so I stopped doing a Let's Play and just beat it off camera. Resident Evil 5, fantastic game, super underrated. Resident Evil 6, decent game, super underrated. Resident Evil 7, I have a full dual playthrough of this on the channel. Cool game. Resident Evil Origins Collection. Resident Evil Revelations 2. We're getting there, peeps. Revenant Dogma. I think it's an RPG. Revenant Saga. I think that might be the sequel. I'm not really sure. This game looks really cool. It's called Reverie. It's like a mix between Zelda and Earthbound. Like, I cannot wait to play through this game. Rhyme. Tomb, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Risk of Rain. Rocket League, one of the best games ever made. Secret of Mana, or Mana, however you want to say it. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of War. Those games are supposedly like a dollar a dollar tree right now, guys, so go check those out. Shadow Warrior, very cool game. It's a first-person shooter that doesn't take itself seriously. It's really funny, actually, and you have like a katana and stuff. I already picked this up. Hang on. Shadow Warrior 2, got the limited uh, physical edition of that. Okay, time to turn, guys. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Get back in the show. Shinmu 1 and 2. I have a full playthrough of Shinmu 1 Platinum on my channel. Shinmu 3 with the backer exclusive slipcase. I can't believe that's all they gave me, but it's okay. Shovel Knight. Cyrillin. I think this is a, a deep RPG with light roguelike elements. I love when they say the exact genre on the back of it. Cyrillin 2. More of the first. Skyforce Anniversary. Uh, I don't know what this is. Looks like a shooter. Shoot em up. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. I have a full platinum of this on the channel. Song of the Deep. I wanted the special edition of this, but it was sold out everywhere, and it was going for a lot of money, and I was like, not worth it. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> Spelunky, everyone knows Spelunky. I got it sealed because I have it digital. I think everyone probably has it digital. Spider-Man. Uh, the Spyro... Reignited Trilogy and Crash Bandicoot Trilogy bundle. But one of them's out because I'm using it, so the game's trying to fall out. Sega Genesis Classics. I really want to play Beyond Oasis on there. That game looks sweet. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The classic Stardew Valley. Day. Steam World High, Steam World Dig Collection, or the Steam World Collection, I should say. Strafe. Stranger Things 3 The Game. Looks pretty cool. I love that show. Uh, super. Hydora, maybe? Hydora? Looks like a shooter, as you can see. From the makers of Gone Home, we have Tacoma. I really need to play this game because I love Gone Home. 
Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Beat this on 360. Fantastic game. So good. So, so good. Tales of Zestria. Thief. Thimbleweed Park. Time Spinner. Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Have a full Let's Play of this on the channel. Fantastic game. The Town of Light. I have a full stream of this on the channel. Uh, it's like a horror based uh, walking sim. Transformers Dead of Vestation. From the makers of Bastion, we have Transistor. Typo Man. I, look, I don't know if you actually type. Do you have to like spell words right and stuff? I'm not really sure. What Remains of Edith Finch. Have a whole Let's Play of this on the channel. Walking Sim. Wind Jammers. We're in the W's, guys. Stick with me. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Wolf Among Us. Wolfenstein The New Order. I have a whole Let's Play of this on the channel. Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. Wonder Boy Returns. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. B big box version. Uh, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Until Dawn. Fantastic game. Got that Platinum. Xenon. Valkyrie Plus. I've heard of this. What's this about? Zeo Drifter. After I get through these, I have some collector's editions to show you if you want to see them, but I can't really ask you, so I guess I will. Yakuza Zero. Yakuza Kiwami. Yakuza Kiwami 2. Yakuza Remastered Collection with a PS3 case in there. Pretty cool. Yakuza 6, The Song of Light, Essence of Art Edition. Yesterday Origins. The game I really want to try because it looks Zelda-like. Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Ukulele. And Ease Origin. Now, come with me real quick. See if we have any collector's editions over here. We have the uh, sleep, uh, not sleep, Watchdogs, Mega Man, Little Nightmares, uh, Legend of Trail, Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel One, and I think that's. So uh, I appreciate you guys sticking through this super long video but i will now go to the digital games see you guys later and here we are over at uh my digital digital collection um as you can see there's 139 games uh, we have a hat in time it's like mario 64 aru's awakening uh the ones with the disc by it is the ones that like that's just the disc info that's installed uh, Freedom Cry, Gradius, Apatheon, Bastion, Broken Age, Broforce, we got Bully, the PS2 remaster, uh, we have Child of Light, I have a full playthrough of that on the channel, go check that out, Costume Quest 2, I have a full let's play of that, 
Counter Spy, the Dark Cloud games, which are uh, PS2 remasters. Uh, Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Dead Island Retro Revenge, the side-scrolling beat-em-up that came with the Dead Island collection. Very cool game. Dead Star, Dragon Fin Soup, Dust and Elysian Tale. That's a cool game. Uh, Ether One, Entwined. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I might have a playthrough of that. I can't remember. Uh, Fey, or Fee. Final Fantasy IX. I'm currently playing through that. That game is fantastic. Fez, Fortnite, obviously. Uh, Futuridium. Galaxy, Gone Home, Grand Kingdom, Gauntlet. We have the Grand Theft Auto PS2 trilogy on here. 3, San Andreas, and Vice City. Grim Fandango Remastered. Grow Home. I don't know really know what that is. Helldivers. Hardware Rivals. Guacamelee. Home. Hotline Miami. Infamous First Light. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. I need to play through this. We have Lara Croft. Journey. Magicka 2. Mercenary Kings, My Name is Mayo, the easiest platinum you'll ever get in your life. Uh, Mousecraft, which I'm assuming is kind of like Minecraft, but with mice, I'm not really sure. Never Alone, Nidhogg, Oddworld New and Tasty, Nova 111, Nom Nom Galaxy, uh, Okage, I think it's how you say it, Shadow King, another PS2 remaster, Outlast, PT, um, they took this off the store, but I found out a way to use a proxy to re-download it. You can, it only works if you've downloaded it before, though, so don't try it if you've never downloaded this before. That, this is the scariest game I've ever played in my life, by the way. Uh, Picks the Cat, Pier Solar, Planet Side 2. We have the uh, Final Fantasy 15 demo. That was fun. Psychonauts, Rebel Galaxy, Race the Sun, Pumped BMX Plus... PS2 Remaster, Red Devolver, and... <laughs> Red Devolver. Red Dead Revolver. And Red Faction. Then we have Road Not Taken, Rezogun, one of my first digital games on the system. Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour. Um, this is the demo for Resident Evil 7, but it's different from the game, and it's actually pretty spooky itself. Rocket League, Rogue Galaxy, uh, another PS2 Remaster. Rogue Legacy, uh, Shutshimi. Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut, Secret Ponchos, Skulls of the Shogun, Sound Shapes. A lot of these are PS Plus games, obviously, but Stick of Truth, st uh, these are Spelunky, Stealth Inc. 2, Steam World Dig, Strider, Super Time, Force Ultra, Super Meat Boy, Sticks, Master of Shadows, Switch, Galaxy Ultra. We have Tabletop Racing, that looks kind of fun. World Tour, Tesla Grad, Jackbox Party Pack really fun game. Uh, the Deadly Tower of Monsters, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, uh, some VR stuff, I think. The Swapper, The Witness, very hard puzzles, but it's fun. The Warriors, another PS2 remaster. The Unfinished Swan, Towerfall Ascension, which I think is a tower defense game. Transistor, Tricky Towers, we have the Trine Trilogy, say that ten times fast. Uh, Tropico 5, Ultra... Tron, <laughs> Unmechanical Extended, Unravel, uh, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, Valiant Hearts, Zeo Drifter, Wild Arms 3, which is another PS2 game, Velocity 2X, and Zombie. So yeah, that is my entire PS4 collection. Uh, just kidding, it's not. I just noticed I left some out. Uh, I have Prey and... Yeah, I left Prey out, so I also have Prey, guys. <laughs> so uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next collection video.